The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The seminary is like a desert, a time to be alone with the Lord. No credit card, no bank account, no cell phone, just you and God. This is why it's also a time of engagement, a time to fall in love with God as you discover the profound love of Jesus Christ for you. When a young man comes through the doors of the seminary for the first time, he brings his doubts, his wounds, his many questions. Here he begins a journey with God, aided by the celebration of the Word and the grace of the sacraments, a process that will help him become a shepherd after the heart of Christ. there with you in that suffering. Imagine if, we've, if, she, if this word reaches her heart tonight. Let us pray for all of us gathered around this altar. For my siblings that you may give them the Holy Spirit. For this I pray. St. Jerome said that ignorance of the scriptures is ignorance of Christ. Well, this room, which we call the sanctuary of the word, helps us to overcome that ignorance as we search for Christ in the words of scriptures, hoping to find him and to fall in love with him. interesting that the world, it says here, was created through Christ. Christ came to the world and the world did not recognize him, rejected him. No one can give what he has not received. The aim of seminary formation is to form a priest who is grateful to God who has loved him, grateful to the church that has served him, grateful for a mission that gives him the possibility to serve and to spend his life in service to others.
I'm very grateful to the Lord for my vocation. When I look back, I see how the Lord took me from the streets of Valledupar, gave meaning to my life, and made me reconcile with my father, and now is calling me to become a priest. So the Lord is faithful, and I have chosen the better part. Our seminary depends entirely on the providence of God and on the generosity of our benefactors. Everything here, from the chapel, to the sanctuary of the Word, to the icons that hang on the walls of the seminary, is for the seminarians. Because only when a man has felt loved and forgiven by God can he love without counting the cost, especially the poor, the sinners, those who have no hope and are far away from the mercy of God.